Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It's Wednesday, December 18th, 2013, and I'm Leanne McAdoo. While talks of arms buildup have been intensifying between global superpowers in recent weeks, just last week we reported that defense analysts were warning the U.S. that it needed to prepare for war with China by building up its defense systems even further. And now Russia is talking about building its own rail-mounted nuclear missile system in response to missile systems that the U.S. is planning on building there. They say work will begin on the project early next year, and the benefits of having a rail-mounted program include the ability to camouflage their missile amidst commercial rail traffic, which would make them harder to locate and target. Now, Russia's military buildup is a response to Washington's plans to complete a project to install a missile defense system in Poland by 2018 while another ballistic missile defense system that the U.S. has already been working on in southern Romania is expected to be operational by 2015. Now, last week, Russian President Putin vowed to never allow any power to gain military superiority over Moscow, and the Russian prime minister echoed that assertion in response to the U.S. missile shield, saying, bear in mind, if we're attacked, we will respond with nuclear weapons. And China seems to have a response of its own to the U.S. missile defense system there in Romania. The, a display that was promoting China's Jade Rabbit Moon rover, it includes a background photograph of a mushroom cloud over Eastern Europe. And some are speculating that the location eerily matches that of the planned U.S. missile defense system in Romania. Now, some are saying that the selection of the image was just an oversight by Chinese officials, considering it's a stock image. However, the title of the stock image is Nuclear Explosion on Earth from Space. And as we previously highlighted, Chinese state media itself has bragged that the moon landing program is merely just their first step toward a Death Star moon base from which the People's Liberation Army could launch missiles against any target on Earth. And this is, of course, in addition to a map that the Chinese state-run media showed last month that showed locations of major U.S. cities and how they would be affected by a nuclear attack via submarine. So who knows if it's just superpower political posturing, but no one can deny that with the tensions running so high that the threat of a new Cold War and all of the psychological warfare that goes along with it is definitely upon us. Now, uh, in October, Alex Jones interviewed ex-Navy SEAL Benjamin Smith, who said that he believed that the U.S. government was trying to provoke veterans into a situation that would incur martial law. Well, the way that the Senate has continued to, to treat military retirees, especially this week, could definitely be seen as another poke at vets as well. The Senate Republicans were unable to stop military pension cuts on Tuesday night when the Senate Democrats blocked a vote on an amendment that would prevent those cuts. Alabama Republican Jeff Sessions said on Monday that removing this unbalanced treatment of our military retirees ought to be one of the key actions that we should take before this legislation moves forward. And in fact, greater savings than this can be achieved by passing a legislative fix that would stop the IRS from improperly providing tax credits to illegal aliens. But of course, the Democrats weren't going to have that. Now, additionally, Sessions wanted to restore the pension cuts by targeting a child tax credit loophole that's being used by illegal immigrants to unlawfully obtain welfare benefits. We are talking about $4.2 billion that were refunded to ineligible people in 2010 alone. But instead, Reed's majority just voted to keep pension cuts for vets instead of cutting the welfare payments to illegal aliens. So there you go, folks. I mean, obviously, I definitely respect the military. I know you guys are fighting for me and my family and everyone here in America to retain our rights. But the fact is, they want to send you over to fight the rich man's war and don't expect that if and when you make it back, you or your family is going to be taken care of. It's, it's disgusting. No wonder Obama couldn't start a war with Syria because the morale of the mil military is so low. And this is only going to increase that anger and frustration with Obama and his administration even further. This is, is absolutely disgusting, the way that they're treating our veterans. Many anthropologists and archaeologists believe that before man even discovered uh, the power to harness and use fire, 
we were involved in agrarian activities. That is, taking the seeds of plants and then replanting them to produce more. The very foundation of our modern civilization and human culture is centered around the planting and cultivation of edible plants. Here are some of the amazing deals at InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. The Survival Seed Vault by My Patriot Supply features only the finest survival heirloom seeds for a robust and hardy garden, even in the toughest times. We also have starter varieties of the deluxe seed packages for fruit, salad, salsa, peppers, medical herbs, and more. Go to the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing. Many anthropologists.